Yo, hold up. Word on the street is, Drake might be plotting to block Kendrick Lamar shine at next year's Super Bowl. You heard that right. According to WAC 100, Drizzy's pulling some legal strings, trying to stop K-Dot from taking over the halftime show. What's really going down between these two rap giants? Stick around as we break down this potential hip-hop showdown and Drake's desperate attempt to sabotage Kendrick's Super Bowl show. So check this out. WAC 100, the notorious music manager who always has some wild tea, is claiming that Drake is making power moves to restrict Kendrick's Super Bowl performance. We're talking cease and desist orders, y'all. Word is, Drake doesn't want Kendrick performing his diss track, Not Like Us, on one of the biggest stages in the world. Now, why Drake is so pressed about a track that's been out for a minute? That's a mystery we're all trying to solve. Drake is served a cease and desist. He digging himself a bigger dish. She looking more like. Oh no! Nah. What he serve? Who? What does he Kendrick Lamar, so he can't perform not like us at the. Oh, for... oh no! That's, that's some be... serious. Where's that? Audio link? up top. Audio <laughs> up top. He, I think he should though. He said all that stuff about him. That's on the national stage though. Hey, Rod or, or E, Fuck are you, you all of that? Think he should. He said about Kendrick too. And told the world that Kendrick's best work. friend in his but life. He came after him. So what about like what? Cause he didn't stick when Kendrick's dead. Is that what you say? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Now I'm very biased when it comes to Drake. <laughs> oh, so it's true. Bad work. So money wise, all right. The safe thing he just said that yeah, we're gonna do it anyway. Uh, what what would he be looking at? Work on that. <laughs> nah, he's trying to get the NFL to restrict Kendrick. Oh, okay, I got you. You trying to get them to restrict, you know what I'm saying? You think it's going to hold way? I don't know. I don't know. It's Jay-Z got something to do with it, it ain't. Wack 100 didn't spill all the details, but he sure had everyone's attention. Apparently, Drizzy is even leaning on the NFL to shut things down. But here's the twist. Jay-Z, who's got a hand in organizing the halftime show, ain't having it. According to Wack, Hove isn't letting anyone, not even Drake, censor Kendrick. With K-Dot already locked in his headliner for next year's halftime show in New Orleans, this could set the stage for some serious drama between the two heavyweights of the rap game. And get this, Kendrick's already dropping subliminals in his promo for the big game. Standing in front of an American flag, throwing passes like a boss, he made it clear that he's out to prove rap still the most powerful genre in the world. With lines like no round twos. You know it's only one opportunity to win a championship. No round twos. Let's get it. Fans were quick to connect the dots back to Drake, who once posted a clip of Rasheed Wallace promising a game two victory. I'll put it in the front page, back page, middle page, wherever. Headliners, column one or two, we will win game two. Yeah, back and off. We will win game two. Kendrick's never been shy about taking shots, and it seems like he's aiming straight at Drizzy. But let's keep it real though, Drake's not only salty about Kendrick's Super Bowl spotlight, he's also got love for his boy Lil Wayne, who many believe should have gotten a halftime nod since the games in Wheezy's hometown of New Orleans. But at the end of the day, it's all lies on Kendrick, and if this legal beef with Drake turns into something bigger, we might witness one of the most talked about Super Bowl shows in hip hop history. What y'all think? Do you think Drake is powerful enough to pull those type of strings to sabotage K-Dot's performance? Drop a comment below and let's talk. Hit that subscribe button and check out Hip Hop Headlines Haven for more. This is wild, but believe me, there's plenty more where that came from. Keep it locked.